Hello everyone, Sam is here from myforexmagicweb.com uh, making this small video recapping the whole week uh, all the trades and the basis of those trades um, so let's get started I want to make a small short video so this is uh, uh, this week starting from uh, Sunday was on 25th it was Sunday and then the 26th which was Monday was completely dead I had no trade whatsoever, a couple of uh, SL hit, and that's it. So I don't have any trade for tw uh, 26, but then it, things got better. So this is uh, the 27th June, this pound yen, and you know that be uh, me and my group, we are hitting pound yen for a couple of weeks now, uh, based on my uh, analysis, which I'll show you later. Uh, maybe not in this video, maybe later, I don't know. So, um, uh, so, yeah, pound yen was my number one uh, uh, pair to trade on the long side, plus all the yen pairs. And then I'll show you the reason uh, at the end of this video, why all and those yen pairs uh, is supposed to go long. And uh, that's what I've been uh, teaching in my webinar. So this is uh, 27, the pound yen long entry. You can see all the way 150 pip. Okay, the entry, by the way, you know, it was like early, to, uh, the, you know, on the 27th, all day long it ran. Uh, all the way to the upside <laughs> plus another pair uh, yen pair which was frank yen 190 pip all the way straight from here and it was giving a very solid sign that i'm going to go to the upside uh, we're gonna go to, uh, you know we're gonna pop to the upsides and it did okay a beautiful entry there was the first entry here nice entry and never look back right even this one was be uh, uh, would be good but then it came back and hit the sl anyway so that this is the second entry and but this this is the one uh, gone all the way to the upside uh this is the 27 these are the only two one but look at the, the amount of the pipish 340. now cadian on the 28th cadian gave me an entry nice entry it, this was an entry this was an entry you can see there was a trade open here all the way up but i couldn't record it so or probably i did i don't know uh maybe the last week um, but this is the one on the 28th you can see here this is the entry here and sl moved to there and then you know, gone to the upside uh, same uh, on the 20th uh, pound aussie uh, because of the uh, pound strength was uh, in the air uh, which i'll show you the chart later and uh, you know, the indexes because i cover all the indexes too individual currency indexes individual currency charts so that i know uh, which currency is getting strong and which one is getting weaker and then you can play the pair accordingly so uh Parnazi, not a big trade but you know something right and then on the 28th again pound yen comes in play okay so see this is the entry on the 28th this was a big move a little bit of retracement and here you go again okay because this pair has to go a long way to the upside okay so this is what's going to be doing uh, in the coming uh, weeks and months to be honest with you so another 170 pip run all the way to this uh, area 45 35 is the weekly low big big low and we went up there all the way and hit i, I wasn't uh, awake to uh, close at that point would have been a little bit more <laughs> but it's okay um so this is and then again aussie yen on the 29 uh, beautiful entry you can see here this was the last entry was here uh, which never looked back went all the way right and then the next entry again and went all the way for 90 pip and uh, here to, on the 29th euro yen look at these entries man this was a beautiful entry this was a good entry and this is a good entry all the way gone good entry is that when this indicator goes below this red line and then coming up with the blue candles that's a very good entry very simple system very precise very accurate system it's good to see good good to your eyes you know there is no big uh you know you know one bullish candle one bearish candle two bullish one bearish you don't know which way to go here you can see the bullish meet the blue candles don't touch it, you know don't short it and uh, if the if these ma is uh, aligned to the upside don't even think about shorting it and when you have red candles just wait wait for the setup it will come and it will give you the setup uh, a long setup and just as soon as you have a couple of blue candles jump in make money simple as that so this is uh, the 29th what happened on the 30th the friday aussie and again in action after this one closed 
again, like I said, red candles again, it came down, gave me the entry again, and, you know, something, right? And if not much, <coughs> but that's something, uh, if you can, if you pay attention, that's 90 pip. <laughs> Uh, okay, so 30, this one, and my favorite again, pound yen. After, uh, you know, up move, then it came down a little bit on a 40 minute. It actually, it came down to retrace on a 40 minute. Uh, make a very good, beautiful setup on the 40 minute, and I took an entry from the 20 minute, and look what happened. Okay, so this is how it is. Now I'm going to show you why I'm hitting all these yen pairs and not USD pairs. USD also very good. It was dro uh, dropping. I will make a video about the USD index, which I made in January, uh, showing that how, where it's going to go. And it is gone exactly there. A little bit more room to go to the downside. I predicted it accurately, 100% accurately. <clears throat> okay. So I'll show you that uh, in an, uh, another video. But uh, yeah, I'm tracking that USD index as well. And uh, I predicted that it's going to uh, go down big time in three waves and it is doing that uh, but you know uh, you need to make um, pips right so you know whatever the pairs give you the most uh, my two other favorite pairs uh, involve Aussie but the Aussie dollar is like slow a little bit this week and yen was on the move that's why let me show you yen chart this is the chart I made in 24 April Yen index individual, yen index when it goes up, yen gets weaker. Yen in all the pairs on the right hand side. So think of a balance right? when you, you, you weigh the things in the balance. You put the weight on the left hand side and then you put the thing on the right hand side and then you know you make, make a balance to sell something. So that balance. So if the, the, the weight is heavy, the right hand side part is going to go up, right? It will tilt on the, the left hand side and the right side will go up similarly pound yen if yen is getting weaker then the pair will go the right hand side currency will go to the upside and then the left hand side for example pound or euro or aussie they'll go down so the pair all the pairs so when the yen is getting weaker all the yen pairs probably like eight or nine pairs out there right frank yen new zealand cad yen aussie yen you know all of those Euro yen, pound yen. Uh, <clears throat> so they all go to the upside, except USD yen. Why? Because USD was also, is, is still getting weaker. So if yen is getting weaker and USD is getting weaker, that pair is going to go in limbo. It's going to be ranging. So you don't want to touch that. Everything else, pound was getting strong, euro was getting strong, Aussie was getting strong, you know, CAD was getting very strong, and Frank is always strong. So <laughs> all of these pairs, that's why I had those, uh, you know, CAD yen, Aussie yen, Frank yen, all those, you know, pairs uh, you saw that I've been doing. So what happened to this chart? I predicted that this yen is going to go up and get weaker in April. And look at the next chart. Then it went from here up there, and then it retraced a little bit. And this is the one I made in 15th June. So after that, you see this bullish candle last week? This is a weekly chart. So I said, now it's going to go up again. And as of today, where it is, it's, you can see here, very nice, uh, you know, big, big, big move. Uh, on the 40-minute chart, how it shows, this was I made in 15th June. This is the 40-minute guiding chart, my guiding chart. And it's supposed to go up there. What happened to it? It went up there, almost there. You know, it, this is supposed to. And it will continue to the upside, trust me. So when US, uh, yen, and, uh, yen index doing this, going to the upside, yen is getting way weaker and all the yen pairs going to fly. That's why we've been hitting all these yen pairs uh, to the upside, especially pound. Pound yen, why? Because pound was getting strong as well. Let me show you pound index. I made this chart, okay? And let me, for the new people, let me explain you something. And the indexes, the USD index, Euro index, pound index, all the indexes, when they're going up, currency gets strong. Only the yen index, when it goes up, it gets weaker. It's just the opposite. If you look, if you pay attention, it says pound LFX, right? So it gets, it goes up, it gets strong. 
But when you look at this yen, it says LFX yen. It's the opposite. I don't know why, but this is how the broker has it. So when yen index is going to the upside, yen gets weaker. When pound index is supposed to go to the upside, pound will get strong. Okay? So we ha you have a very good chance in pound yen because pound is getting strong. The other currency is getting weaker. The balance will tilt on the left-hand side. And the right-hand side currency will go way to the upside, right? So the pound yen is supposed to fly, and this is what it's doing. It's flying. And it will be flying in the next couple of coming weeks. Trust me. That's all we have count. I made those counts, and I showed it to my subscribers two weeks ago. Probably three weeks ago. I made the chart already a long time ago. And it's, it's been doing that, following the chart. So uh, this is how it is. Okay, my analysis is uh, as good as gold. Uh, you can go on my website and check how I predicted these things and how they come up. Oh, oh by the way, what happened to this chart? I didn't show it to you, yeah. No, hold on. What happened to that chart? This is the this is the chart. And as of today, here we go. I said we're gonna go here. We went there, we hit it as a resistance, drop a little bit, we broke above it, came back, tested it, and moving on. So that's uh, and my long-term chart also is that pound is going to get strong and it will go up and it's doing it. So pound is getting strong, yen is getting weaker. We have a very good chance for still more to come, you know, following the weeks, dates, uh, and then all the other yen pairs. Right? So of course, you know, when you, you when they're doing the red candles on a 20-minute chart, don't touch it. That's the idea. And when the red is finished and the blue starts and when the indicator is all the way down, you can take. These are not, you know, very good entries, but these are, like, remember, 40 minutes. So these are very, very good 20-minute entries, okay? Um, but we don't trade index, so I, I don't make 20-minute charts on those indexes. But uh, if you uh, look at this other, um, where did they go? Uh, like this one, you know, all those, uh, you see, for example, the, this is the price below wave coming right here, all the way to the red line. Actually, it is a 40-minute setup and playing out in the 20 minute. You take entry on the 20-minute chart. Easy. I teach you all everything. It just look, you know, a little bit that. But, you know, once you uh, subscribe and you you start, you know, attending my webinars, it becomes a piece of cake. Uh, of course, you need to learn a little bit, you know. But it's not a rocket science. It's very easy. I uh, teach you. I guide you. 24-hour, uh, you know, help available uh, through email. So uh, uh, if you like what you see, then go on my website and, and subscribe and start trading uh, the way I just showed you. It's very easy to learn. Okay. So this is it for now. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Don't, you know, don't forget to go to my website. And I think the link is going to be uh, below the, this video. If you look at the, you know, in the description, you will have myforestmagicweb.com, and you have, you know, this this is uh, the name of my website. You go there, there's a subscription page, and then you can easily subscribe there. Uh, okay, so um, this is it for now. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. See you in my webinars.